friends, welcome back. I am Rick Jessa, and today we will continue with the fourth part of NCRT texture exercise of chapter number four that is motion in a plane. Okay, let's start with question 4.20. 4.20 the position of a particle is given by r equal to 3ti minus 2t square j plus 4k meter. Here i, j and k are the direction. i means towards x axis, j means towards y axis and k means towards z axis. Okay, where t is in second and the coefficient of the proper units are r to be in meters. Okay, find the velocity and area of the particle. What is the magnitude and direction of velocity of the particle at t equal to 2 seconds? Okay, we need to find out V and A in vector form. Okay, so first let down the given equation that is R is equal to 3Ti minus 2T square J plus 4K <coughs> meter. So now for velocity, V is equal to dr by dd. Okay. So, derivative of 3ti minus 2t square plus, sorry, 2t square j plus 4k, clear? So, v is equal to, derivative of 3t is 3, so 3i. Derivative of 2t square, that is 4t, so minus 4t j. Here and derivative of 4, 4 is constant, so it's 0. So the equation for velocity is 3i minus 40j. Here now acceleration a that is equal to dv by dt. So d by dt of instead of v, I will write down 3i minus 40j. Acceleration a is equal to Derivative of 3, it is constant, so it's 0. Derivative of 40 is 4. Minus 40, it's minus 4j. I'm not writing i component because it will be 0i. Okay, so this is the equation for acceleration. Okay, now the question is at t equal to 2 second. Clear what is the magnitude and direction of velocity at t equal to 2 second? At t equal to 2, V is equal to, putting this equation, 3i minus 4 into 2j. So, V is equal to 3i minus 8j. Here, the magnitude of velocity, that will be equal to under root of x square plus y square plus z square. Where what is x component here towards x axis? 3. What is y component? minus 8. Third component is 0. So 3 square that is equal to 9 plus minus 8 square that is 64. Okay. So that will be equal to square root of 73. So let's calculate 73 square root. It's 8.544. So, I will write down magnitude of velocity is equal to 8.54 meter per second. Clear? Now, for direction, I need to find out 10 theta that is equal to Vy by Vx. What is Vy? Y component minus 8. Vx that is 3. So, minus 8 upon 3. So this will be equal to 8 divided by 3. It's minus 2.66. Minus 2.66. Clear? Now using trigonometric table, it is found that the 10 is having the value of minus 2.66 at 69.5 degree. Okay? So theta is equal to 69.5 degree but now if I take this way this has x axis this has y axis now the y component is negative so it will be like this way and x component is 
positive so it will be like this so this will be the resultant vector so 69 point this will be this will be the angle 69.5 degree so i can write it down 69.5 degree with respect to positive x axis in downward direction okay it's in downward direction or else i can do one thing i can find out this angle okay so this will be 360 degree minus 69.5 degree or i can write it down theta is equal to let us calculate 360 minus 69.5 that will get 290.5 degree 290.5 degree with respect to positive x axis remember the direction is very important when you find out the from the 10 table trigonometric 10 table you will find out that the value of 10 is 2.66 at 69.5 degree and there is a negative so what i did i found out vy negative in downward direction vx positive so this is the resultant vector so this will be the angle theta that is found on some trigonometric table so i written in downward direction or else i found out this 360 minus 69.5 that is 290.5 degree with respect to positive x okay now you also need to find out acceleration at t equal to 2 acceleration is equal to minus 4 there is no component of t so it will be minus 4j only and the magnitude of a well, uh, acceleration that will be equal to under root of x square that is 0 so minus 4 square so 16 and its square root that will be equal to 4 meter per second square the direction as it is j okay so it will be towards y direction so x and z components are not there so this will be angle theta so here in this case the angle acceleration vector is making is 90 degree with respect to x clear so this was about question 4.20 so just note it down In this question, this part is not asked, okay, but we had found it out. Magnitude and direction of only velocity is asked, acceleration is not asked. Here, yeah. and by the angle, instead of 69.5, you can also use this around figure 70 degree. Okay, now let's move to the next, that is 4.21. Four point two one. The particle is a particle starts from the origin at t equal to zero with a velocity of ten g. So this will be the initial velocity. V zero is equal to ten g meter per second. And moves in x y plane with a constant acceleration. Now see this is uniform accelerated motion. The constant acceleration a is equal to a i plus 2j meter per second square okay now the question at what time the x coordinate of the particle is 16 meter <coughs> means first you need to find out the position position vector i will say r and in that you need to find out the x coordinate means the value magnitude in i direction positive x axis here yeah. so now initial velocity is given and acceleration is given you have to find out time at which the x coordinate is 16 meter and second what is the y coordinate of the particle at that time okay so x coordinate is given what will be the time and at that time what will be the y coordinate and b what is the speed of the particle at that time means you need to find out the magnitude of the velocity that is the speed of that particle instantaneous speed i would say okay because it is at that time okay now we can use the formula here for position r equal to 
आर जीरो प्लस वी जीरो टी प्लस हाफ ए टी स्क्वेर ओके बट सी इट्स गिवन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दरिजिन सो इनिशियल पोजिशन इज जीरो सो दिस इक्वेशन रिड्यूज टू आर इक्वल टू वी जीरो टी प्लस हाफ ए टी स्क्वेर नो वॉट इज वी जीरो दैट इज टेन इन टेन जे इन टू टी means 10t into j plus half what is acceleration e i plus 2j t square this will be equal to 10tj plus half into 8 that is 4i into t square so see half into 8 into t square so 4t square the direction is i Plus half into two, that is one into t square. So t square j. So now let's organize the direction i, that is four t square i plus here it's t square and ten t. So t square plus ten t. I'm taking j common. This is the position vector. Okay, at any time t. So now see, I can take i. This is i. So this is the x coordinate and j. This is the y coordinate. Clear? So x is equal to 4t square. But it's given that x is equal to 16 meter. It's given in the question, right? So putting the value of x at 16. Equal to four t square. I will get t square is equal to four. That means t is equal to plus or minus two. But I will not take minus two because time cannot be negative. So t is equal to two. So at t equal to two second, at t equal to two second, x coordinate is sixteen meter. Okay, we got the first part of a. Clear. Now, second, what is the y coordinate of the particle at that time? Now, from here, I can say y is equal to e square plus ten t. Now, we've already found out the value of t as two, so putting it here, two square plus ten into two. So, two square that is four plus twenty. So, that is equal to twenty-four meter. Okay. So. <laughs> at that time y coordinate is 24 meter clear now another question b what is the speed of the particle at that time so we need to find out the instantaneous speed so first we derive the equation we we'll use the kinematic equation v equal to v0 plus e t Okay, because it is uniform accelerative motion. So v is the final velocity at time t. So v zero is tan j plus a that is e i plus two j into t. What is the time? Two. Clear? We have found out this t equal to two. So this is equal to tan j plus a two is a sixteen i. Plus two to the four j. So just organizing the coordinates: sixteen i, ten j plus four j. That is fourteen j. This is the uh, velocity at t equal to two. So to find out the magnitude, I will use under root of v x square plus v y square. So sixteen square plus fourteen square. Okay, so sixteen square that is equal to two fifty six plus fourteen square that is one ninety six. We need to take a square root. So let's calculate two hundred and fifty six plus one ninety six equal to square root. It's twenty one point two six zero. So this is equal to twenty one point two six meter per second. Okay. so speed of the particle at t equal to 2 is 
21.26 meter per second clear okay so this was about 4.21 just note it down okay now let's move 4.22 i and j are the unit vector along x and y axis respectively what is the magnitude and direction of i plus j and i minus j okay now see i when i will write down vector i that implies its magnitude is 1 because that is unit vector and direction of uh, x axis and for vector j unit vector magnitude of j is equal to also 1 okay means i is the vector of one unit in x axis and j is the vector of one unit in towards y axis okay so first i plus j if i draw if i use graphical method okay this is x axis this is y axis so i vector of one unit towards x axis j vector of one unit towards positive y axis okay so this will be the resultant vector here this will be the resultant vector this is vector 1i this is 1j and this is i plus j okay now see if i just form this triangle then this will be one meter one unit and this will be one unit okay so for right angle triangle if two sides are same this will be 45 degree clear yeah. so here i can write it down the angle is 45 degree with respect to positive x axis the magnitude of i plus j that is equal to under root of i square plus j square okay means under root of x square plus y square what is the magnitude of i 1 and j 1 so 1 square plus 1 square 1 plus 1 that will be equal to root 2 clear so the magnitude of i plus j is root 2 and the direction is 45 degree with respect to positive x axis now when i take i minus j again i will use graphical method x axis y axis now i means one unit towards positive x axis this is one i minus j means if it was j, j it was towards positive x so it's minus j so it's towards negative y axis okay <laughs> this is minus one j this will be the resultant vector okay and this angle now again when i extend it this will be one unit this is one unit for radical angle so this will be 45 degree clear so in this case also angle theta is equal to 45 degree with respect to positive x axis towards downward Okay, or else I can also calculate this direction that is 360 minus 45 clear that will be 315 degree this angle I can add it down 315 degree with positive x axis or else 45 degree towards downward now magnitude of i minus j under root of magnitude of i square plus minus j square again one square one and minus one that is square will be one so this is also root two the magnitude of i minus j is also root two in this direction is 45 degree with positive axis but in downward direction here yeah, so first note down this and then we will see the next part of this question You can also write down its value that is 1.41. Okay, now let's see the next part. 
Now the next part is what are the components of vector A equal to 2y plus 3j along direction i plus j and i minus j. Before solving this, I will explain you about the component for vector A and B. If theta is angle between A and B, then component of A towards B is A cos theta and component of B towards A is B cos theta. Clear? Okay, so remember this formula A cos theta and B cos theta. A cos theta is the component of A towards B and B cos theta is the component of B towards A where theta is the angle between A and B. Okay, now one more thing, dot product. Or you can also say scalar product. This we will study in detail in chapter number 6 of NCRD textbook that is for work, energy and power. If A vector A is equal to AXI plus AYJ plus AZK and vector B is equal to AXI plus BYJ plus BZK. Okay. Then A dot B is called the dot product. Okay. Either you can use this formula AX BX plus AY BY plus AZ BZ. Means multiplying the X component, Y component, and Z component of both the vectors and taking its sum or A dot B that is equal to a b cos theta where theta is the angle between a and b clear so we are going to use this concept for the second part okay so first let's say vector a vector a it is given as 2i plus 3j clear let's take vector b this i plus g okay now what is the question component of vector a along the direction of i plus g okay means component of a here in case towards b so i need to find out a cos theta so i will use dot product a dot b that is equal to a b cos theta so what will be a cos theta that here a b means magnitude of a into magnitude of b this will be equal to a dot b upon magnitude of b so a dot b what is a 2i plus 3j and vector b i plus j okay upon magnitude of b so see what is x component i can write down one i 1j so x square that is 1 square plus 1 square okay so this will be equal to what we are doing multiplying x component with x so 2 into 1 plus 3 into 1 upon root 2 so 2 plus 2 into 1 2 plus 3 into 1 3 2 plus 3 5 so the answer is 5 by 2 so component of vector a other side on vector a equal to 2y plus 3j along the direction of vector b that is i plus j is equal to 5 by root 2 here okay so this was the first 
Now one more question, you also have to find out the component of vector A along the direction of I minus J. So this I am giving you for yourself to solve it. Okay, take this vector C as I minus J. Clear? Then find out the component of A in direction of C. So this will be A into C equal to AC cos theta. Vector product A into C. So it will be 2 into 1 plus 3 into minus 1. Okay, so it will be minus 1 upon root 2. Okay, this I am giving you for yourself. So solve it by yourself. Okay, so this was about 4.22. So just note it down and complete the last part by yourself. Okay, so let's go to the other question. 4.25. An aircraft is flying at a height of 3400 meter above the ground. If the angle subtended uh, at a ground observation point by aircraft positions 10 second apart is 30 degree, what is the speed of the aircraft? And so let's say this is the position of aircraft after 10 second. This is the position. And this is the ground. Okay, so observe, take observation in this point. So in this 10 seconds, the aircraft move from position A to position B. This is the given question. And the height is 3, 4 double zero means this height is 3, 4 double zero. Let's take O, P. This is 3, 4 double zero. Now see, the angle it subtends given is 30 degrees. So this angle is 30 degrees. Okay. So the half angle of it, this will be 15 degrees. Clear? Yeah. So now if I take in triangle EOP. See first, what we need to find? We need to find the speed of the aircraft. Time is given 10 seconds. Okay, time it is given t equal to 10 seconds. So we need to find out the distance AB or the path length AB. So in triangle AOP, I can write down 1015. That will be equal to opposite upon adjacent that is AP upon OP. What is AP? OP 1015 degree. The value of OP that is given 3, 4, double 0, the height. And 1015 degree, when you will find out from trigonometric table of natural tangent, it's near to 0 0.268. Here, yeah. so let's calculate it. 3, 4, double 0, 0 into 0 0.268. So this will be equal to 911.2. 911.2. So what will be the distance AB? So this is 15 and this is also 15. So AB that will be equal to 2 times AB. This both distance will be same. So this will be equal to 2 times AB. So 2 into 911.2, okay? So that will be equal to distance AB, that will be equal to 1822.4 meter. So the speed of the aircraft, the path length, that is 1822.4 upon the time 10 seconds. So that is equal to 100 and 82.24 meter per second. Okay. Clear. So this is the speed of the aircraft. Just note down question number 4.25. Okay, students. So that's it for today. Here we have completed the questions related to numericals of 
regular exercise of chapter number 4 that is motion in a play clear thank you